You are welcome to my channel. Good morning, everybody. Um, I greet you in the name of Jesus. The Lord is good, and we really thank God for today. We appreciate the grace of God upon our life and His mercies that are new every morning. I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to my channel. This is a global solution for all mankind where we provide solutions, directions and answers in life. There are many things that we complicate in life that contribute a lot of challenges and difficulties in the life of humanity. And in this arena, looking into the solution to solve people's cases, um, it becomes a very big problem when you meet uh, people's uh, problems and challenges and you find that uh, some of these things are personally contributed by the same people. Majority of the things that happen to us, some of them we do things that open the doors of those problems and challenges to come on our way. The one of the things, the reason why we 95% of the problem that comes on our way are our own mechanism, our own imposed problems. It's because we don't have information. Spiritual information is hidden to many people. And you can do things and you think it's your own pleasure. But later, those things open door and contribute a lot of challenges in our life, which demands a huge sacrifice for us if we are going to be better again. Let me give you some tips that are channels of the enemies that have been contributed to majority of the problem I come across on our life. The issue of immorality or immoral or being a womanizer or being I can call it, if we call it the humanizer, we can also call it men, menizer. Yes, because we say womanizer is a man who does not pass his eyes on a woman. Anytime when they look at a woman, they are beauty in their eyes to them. The same we have women now who are much attracted to men. Any man they see, they want to have an affair with them. So this morning, I want to tell you some things that through that door are being contributed. For example, if you have an, uh, an affair with a man in a, a classroom, a primary school, or secondary school if you have an affair with a man in a classroom it becomes a very difficult thing for your children to pass exam those of you that you like to have an affair with the teachers uh, you teachers you like students and uh, you do this thing in the class, some of them in the compound of the school or in the office, which is within the school compound, or 
in that class or dormitory. Once this happens to you, it becomes a very big problem in future. It contributes to barrenness. Now, if you don't become barrenness or barren, the second thing that is going to contribute, your children are going to have a hard time to pass exam. And you are going to think somebody has bewitched them. But honestly, you as a student, you did sex or you did that affair within that classroom is a curse to your children that are going to pass through that place when you give back to them in the area of education. And many people don't know that. My children don't pass exam. My children are doing bad in exam. My children are having problem in exam. And these things, they don't catch up with them the moment they are born. They are going to catch up with them when the really study is needed. That's a time when the enemy is waiting. You'll find most of you, you say, um, my daughter was doing well when uh, uh, he was coming into the university. He started behaving and things went wrong. He failed exam. Or in a secondary level, at Form 1, Form 2, he started going wrong. Things went astray. These are the things that happen to at the different, different levels of the age of a child or a student in the school. Something like that will catch up with them. So if you are a student, you are a man, a boy or a girl, avoid doing fornication in the compound of the school. You are cursing the children of your loin. Are you listening to me? This is a very powerful advice I give to you. It's a very powerful advice. Number two, those of you that you call yourself lover boy or lover girl, when you go to a swimming pool, you, you just want to, to avoid doing sex in the swimming pool. In the swimming pool, in the river, in ocean, in the sea, a place where is public, the public water, where other people are going to come and have their bath. Avoid doing sex, because when you do that, you are cursing yourself. Anyone that do that is cursing themselves. The third thing I want to advise the people who are using hotels, I want to advise you do not use swimming pool. The water for swimming pool. Hey, that hotel has a, a good space, it has a swimming pool. There are many people that are coming there in that swimming pool. When one man entered that water in the swimming pool and bought that water, do you know the energy that they have left in that place? Does the management of the hotel cleanse the water, remove all the water, and bring up a, a fresh water for another person to bath? If they are doing that, then you have you have a good luck. But majority of these uh, swimming pool people don't drain the water on a day. They have to wait until people finish the whole day. Is when they remove the water and then the next day they put a fresh water. Avoid using the pools, the swimming pool. Avoid bathing in the river. Avoid using the sea, public waters. You don't know the people that have gone. 
let me give you an example a woman that she's in a, her circle if she enter into a swimming pool and bath herself in that place the water is under defilation anyone that will enter in that place and bath that water is under the big big wahala big problem many things will happen negative to you you don't know if that is a contribution the second thing i want you to know people can do sex in their room and when they finish they come down here to bath into the swimming pool and other people you come in you are bathing their 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 their, their, their dirtiness you are bathing their 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 energies is what you are bathing and you find many things in life many problems many sickness many problems in life begin because people behave people go and do these things without knowledge i'm giving you knowledge once i told you people the hotels towel soaps and all their their property if you enter in a hotel consecrate it try to cleanse it try to do some cleansing by doing your spiritual prayer before you can use uh, their because those things are defiled i want you to know these are things that is opening a lot of great doors i saw many people's problem and i come across many people's problem and they share with me many people's problem i want to tell you this that uh, god is faithful God is very very faithful he will help you he will solve your case he will answer you but follow my advice this morning it will favor you so those of you that you have listened to this advice avoid those places because I will tell you the next video what those things contribute I will tell you God bless you see you on the next video bye bye